Let me show you how to insert a check mark in Microsoft PowerPoint. Actually, there are three different ways. So the first method is to simply change your bullet points to look like a check mark. So if you got like bullet point list like that, you can head to the top here in the home menu, click this tiny arrow to see more options. By default, you got these little circles like the dots, but you can change that to check marks. Like that, you can select all of them as well if you want to apply this to the whole list. And this way you can get check marks in front instead of bullet points. Method number two is to insert a symbol. So we can head to insert at the top and then we need to add a symbol here. So click symbol. And you will be able to search for the symbol list. This will look a bit different on Windows. It's a pop up box. This is like Apple style box, but in general, it's easy to find. Checkbox. And here it is. We can insert the symbol like that, and then we can simply copy and paste this around. Or you can copy and paste this symbol from the internet as well. If you simply search for checkbox, they will show you some results in the Google, and then you can copy and paste this as the letter. So the symbol is treated as a letter. All right, so that's method number two, pasting, inserting symbols. And the last method is to add a shape. So we click insert shapes, and then in the line section, you will see option call curve click on that then we can click once second time and the third time and then we i don't want to continue this shape so i just press escape on my keyboard and i will end up with this line shape as a check mark of course we can change the line color we can decide how thick it will be we can even apply some styling on it change to dash line if you need. So this is a vector line, so it's scalable up and down without losing quality. You can stretch it a bit. It's great, and you can also add animation on it as the separate object, so it's kind of appearing when you need it. So that's the third way. So you can simply draw a line and use this as your checkbox. You can copy and paste a symbol. You can use the insert symbols menu that is here in powerpoint or if you need them like in front you can simply change the how your bullets point i display you can change them to check marks as well i hope this short tutorial was helpful i will see you in the next video